Marley is an intelligent player. He thinks it through. He shoots. He scores! Bang! Bit time, eh? One more. Now, please. Do, do we dead save? Ooh. You can come over any time, Billy. Thanks, mate. Could I text Mum? Of course you can. I promise I won't tell her I had two burgers. We start the line young around here. Oh, don't say that. Hub was a role model for that, wasn't she? I suppose Phil's in the same club too. You dodged a bullet there, mate. I just hope you got out without too much pain. What? I haven't actually broken up with her. Please tell me you're going to. I don't know, to be honest. She cheated on you. Used you as a smokescreen. That's humiliating. Yeah, it is. She's poison, mate. You deserve better. Count your losses and move on. Yeah, well, man, we've got a lot to talk through. It's your choice, but don't say you weren't warned. I know you're angry, and you have every right to be, and hurting. But is there any chance you and Harper can work it out? Next question. When do you guys plan on telling the kids? I don't know. Okay. They think she's working night shifts, sleeping in the on-call room. It's a special place for her. You say that. Can I say what? Nothing. I think we're all just a bit strung out. Oh, of course. Hey, come here. Um, I could come home at lunch, take Knox for a walk, give you guys a break. You don't need to. And um, would you mind putting some toast down for me? I'm just gonna jump in the shower. Mm. Billy is still a child. I know. I don't want him to hear or see any meltdowns. Is that clear? I need two scrub nurses and a second team ready to rotate. Okay, so four in total. Yes, four. Not that high to count, I'm sure you'll manage. I'm so confused, so that's two teams of two? Just get some nurses together. I will. But just so you know, you're not the only one that's had a hard day at the office, so pull your head in. I've marked which ones are yours. This is student level. You got a problem, take it up with Esther. I thought we were okay. We are. How long is this punishment gonna go on for? Punishment? Uh, nah, everything's cool. Uh, Drew? Marley's been invited to Anton's after school. So? So I thought I could pick him up after and bring him home for dinner. The dinner I'm cooking. I can get takeaways. Mm, the life of kids from a broken marriage. Never eat a home-cooked meal again. Okay, well, I can bring some food and cook something myself. No, thanks. Fine. But just so you know, when I drop Marley off, I'm coming in to see the others. No way. Drew, they will be missing their mother. No one said anything. I just want to give them a cuddle and tell them I love them. I'll pass that message on. Don't be like this. They're my kids too. We need to try. To what? Get over it. Move on. What about tonight? Do you want me to bring something or not? You're back? Already? Yeah. yeah. I know it doesn't make sense, but... It is my calm place. I've heard it called lots of things. Never calm. <laughs> but it's only been five minutes since. I'm good. I'm good. Um, right. Dressing change in cubicle four. And could you book a leg x-ray for that bike accident patient? No problem. Thank you. Hey. There was a rumour about that, that grief support group. Yeah, I'm not meant to talk about it. That it was a, a con? It was Louise the whole time? I can't say. And that she was, like, getting in her head and grooming it? Hey, Sage, can we not? Sorry, I know I shouldn't keep going on about it, but I am really glad that Knox is safe. Yeah, me too. He's the only thing that matters now. Mail, assault, head injury, multiple lacerations, head and neck. I need an IV line, trauma. Whoa! Slow down, Mullins. I'm still assessing here. Maeve, you are suffering classic post-trauma. I'm not the only one who thinks that. Who else noticed? Emmett. He says you have to go home. To Cassie and Nick, pretending everything's fine. 
It would rather work. Yeah. So this is where you're hiding out. Actually, I'm supporting a colleague. You got a problem with that? Barely. What the heck? It's fine. Um, can we have a chat over here, please? So you know, obviously. I'm trying not to think about it at work. Well, it's affecting me too, and I'm managing to stay professional. Professional conduct, is that where we're going with this? Look, what happened between me and Phil is really personal. And? I'm trying to say this nicely. Say what? It's not really any of your business. You were with my girlfriend. Not at the time. You sure about that? Okay, please don't beat me up, okay? I, I'm doing that enough on my own. I don't get it. Why would you do that to Drew? He's a good man, loves his family, loves you. Okay, and that's for Phil. Please, can we not? I thought you were my friend. I thought you cared, but I was just in the way, wasn't really? I? I am your friend. And Drew? To see him like this? I'm going to make it up to him. How? I, I don't know. Well, you better hurry up and think of something, because the damage you've caused is actually worse than it looks. Oh, I was just leaving. Um, yeah, I just talked to Lily. Right. So he's known for a couple of days? Yeah. Um, did you just go out and tell him to his face, or...? It wasn't easy. Took some guts. Are you guys going to be okay? I don't know. Sorry. I think you just need some space. You really like him, don't you? I do. No, he shouldn't even know. You guys should be happy and out there having fun. I had to tell him before Drew did. I mean, no one should know. We should have taken it to our graves. Why couldn't we do that? Because you didn't delete the damn texts. Oh, right, so this is my fault. First rule of playing around, delete the comms trail. You'd know. The cleaner? What were you thinking? You used to think that was cute. Yeah, well, none of this is cute anymore. Well, at least we agree on something. I can't do this at work. Well, I can't see you outside of work, so...